Yo, what is up guys? I'm here hitting you up with a new video. So today I wanted to make a updated hunter tier list ranking all the hunters in the game. It's actually also my first hunter tier list on my channel. I took quite some time before I actually wanted to jump and make a tier list because I feel like there are things you want to say about certain characters and there are some things about other characters which are even not even worthy speaking really. So and based on my experience, I wanted to share my personal tier list with you guys together. And I have it like a little bit different. So we have the, the top is from S to SS plus. I will look at the overall usage for these characters. So if they are like, where, where can you use the characters? How often can you use them? Stuff like that, really. And I have certain benchmarks. We will talk about that in a couple of seconds. So first character we have is Emma. Emma is definitely going into the uh, double S category, 100% because Emma is by far the best mob clearer in the game. So first of all, when you're doing story mode, hard stages whatsoever, so you use Emma, you use a burn up skill and that allows you to just clear the waves really fast to get to the boss really fast to, um, if, if it's like a very difficult dungeon, for example, to and on the other hand, she is absolutely meta when it comes to Battlefield of Time. You will always see Emma's in any team really because she's just too good with uh, the mob clearing and she just improves your time overall. So she's definitely a double S unit, especially in the early game. Also, she has, she has everything you need really. She's lacking a bit of DPS, but her main role as of right now is to just mob clear really and the other thing about her is which uh, makes it even better is if you give her a very distant set with a very distant set you can reduce the cooldown even further and for her with mob clearing and specific timing and speed running this makes her so much better so emma on very distant is just a different breed then next up we have choi choi in my opinion fell off a little bit i still put him in the s tier category he has his usage the one thing which is kind of good and bad for him at the same time is the fact that he cannot crit so you can just full stack him with uh, attack maximize his damage output and he is a unit which needs heavy heavy investment like he starts to shine when you can get him to ascension 5 um yeah basically ascension 5 you upgrade his weapon and then also depending you you can use whatever set really with him but one hit kill or the black lion set and you're good to go. He's good, but he's just lacking a little bit of damage when it comes to compare to other units. And the only time, and also he doesn't have any breaks, and the only time where you really want to use him is when you have a fighter mental advantage and you probably combine him together with uh, Emma or you want some sort of defense break. This is where you use him but uh, currently we have better options so that's why he fell off a little bit next up we have Sio. Sio is also a double s tier unit yeah, i mean do you need to say anything about her the more dupes she gets everything she's great out of the box really with her weapon at a0 but the more dupes you get for her and her weapon she even gets even stronger she was the requirement to clear tier 10 servers now with the addition of alicia she's not necessarily needed for it anymore but still but but you can vice versa say the other way around as well still fantastic unit and the good thing about her is she has so much skill spamming and she's so res resourceful with her mp consumption that you can um that she is one of the few hunters in the game which can stay on the field for a longer period of time and actually do dps she doesn't have the crazy burst like for example alicia or cha in comparison and what i mean is that there's like i i said dot damage and burst damage so dot damage which is usually usually like a blade but in this game i would say it's like your damage over time in general and then you have burst damage which like in a very short amount of time in like one two seconds you can maximize your damage output but after that you're out of gas but with her you're not out of gas you can just keep spamming keep spamming she doesn't have that crazy burst damage like the other two characters 
but on the other side she has crazy damage over time potential and that makes her still very very great and viable. Wong Dong Su, Wong Dong Su is a also with his buff, buff now and with his um, what you call it with his uh, addition to super armor he is also S tier. He has so much damage. This guy is crazy. Like they, these two, like on the same thing. The same thing. Crazy dude has crazy damage potential now. With the super armor, helped him out a lot. He he will now have his time to shine. He needs but a little bit of dupe investment. I think the very least he needs is ascension one, so he can charge up his. I don't know which skill it is, but one of his skills you can then charge up to tier two something, and it does crazy amount of damage. Also currently just a little bit lacking behind because besides damage he doesn't have anything, not that he necessarily needs it, but I think he has, he has a little bit of CC, but also his main problem is his element typing, Wind, which is not the biggest thing right now in the game. Yes, with the addition of Battlefield of Chaos with all the elements, he has definitely more potential and all the elements have more potential, but nonetheless, he's still just one tier short up. Next up, we have Wu Chin Chul. Wu Chin Chul comes straight into A tier. He also got buffed. He's, I was testing him on stream and when it comes to play style and how enjoyable he is to play as a character, he would be like top of the meta. Like he has, he's so fun to play, guys. You don't know. He's so fun. He's the he's the most fun character to play, really. But the problem is he's still lacking damage. Now they made him better. His break is really good, um, especially when you fight wind stuff. Now with his all additions, with his dash mechanics and everything, with his break skills, and you can recharge them and reduce the cooldowns. And so you can really really break enemies fast with him. He's great at what he does. And you probably also want to use him for the Battlefield of Chaos if you have built him properly just to get rid of break boss really because that's very annoying in that mode really. But still he's lacking damage though. Even though he's good, I feel like his break, even his break is good, it could be still better a little bit. And I feel like he just needs a bit more damage to be more useful. Cha, Cha is also going straight on the DS tier category. Now, Cha is the benchmark for me when it comes to these, um, or for us in general, when it comes to making these tier lists. Cha is just the, the, the craziest, pro yeah, it's probably the craziest unit in the game. And she's so good at what she does with the damage output and stuff like that. That is why I rank her so highly. And that's why, for example, a Choi is not is not a double S tier. He's max S. He could even be a little bit lower depending on if if he if he's a zero, he's A tier. I don't even see him anywhere close there. The Wong Nung is just straight up bad. But when it when you duped him up, he's S. When he's not duped, he's A tier, 100 percent No questions asked. But yeah, I cannot put someone in here and because is the, is that unit really in the, in the same realm as a Cha? No, definitely not. And that's why it, does it ranked and Cha is just crazy, does everything, you know what she does really. And Sio and Emma, yeah, does make sense as well. As I said, Sio crazy water DPS, Emma is for speedrunning, very, very powerful unit. And now with Alicia joining the ranks, Alicia also a double S tier unit, crazy powerful. I feel like if she's at Ascension zero, she is here, right here, right? She's right here. I feel, feel like she's the bottom of the double S tier category. You could say either top of S or a low a double S. When you get her to Ascension 2 is where she gets a lot stronger because you get more stacks for a core attack to deal more damage. And once you get her to A5 where she can freeze and then can actually make use of her A3 with her core attack, she's basically in the same realm as Cha. The burst damage is absolutely insane. These two if at A5, different world really, crazy. But now you think like, okay, hmm, double S here and Cha and Alicia best two units. Why is there actually double S tier? Uh, uh, Double S plus tier, who is in there? Yeah, when we talk about double S plus, it's Min. And here's the thing. Now you would be like, why is Min so high? Like, why is he better than everybody else? Objectively speaking, from an outsider perspective, is by far the best unit in the entire game. Why is that so? No matter what team you see, run, he's always in the party. No matter what, 
You can replace any other hunter, but Min is the character you always, always 99.9% .9 of the time always want to have in your party unless you're trying to really, really speed clear, speed run something where you really do not need him and try to save like half a second or something, right? But besides that, he will be in every single party and he's also great support for Jin Wu and that makes him the by far the best unit in the game because he is the enabler for all the DPS units. Like we have Cha, we have Alicia right now, but in the future we will also get more patches, right? We will get new broken uh, characters, DPS characters, which might even outperform Cha and Alicia, right? Or even Seo. But you know who will stay? Min. Why? Because Min does that new broken character, makes that new broken character even more broken because of Min's effects. So as of right now, all you see the damage also with Cha, for example, the damage comes from Min because Min helps out a lot. So when you have Min at Ascension 0, he's a Chad. At Ascension 1, he becomes the Giga Chad. And at Ascension 5, he's just straight up Cha's husband. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. The Min is by far the best unit in the entire game. You don't have to look like from a DPS check perspective, but from really all the units which are available available, and what their kit has to offer, he's by far the best unit, no, no questions asked. Then next up we have Bike. Bike also is a ST unit. He is, you know what, actually I feel like he's better than Troy, to be honest. He is great, he does a lot of damage. Um, he has not the highest damage output, but he has very high damage nonetheless. And on to top it off, he has break, break effects, break skills, and once you use his skills three times, you can get a 20% defense break. Very powerful unit, very solid. When you need a light breaker, he's one of the best options out there. Then we have silver. Silver for me is probably either bottom S or high A. I don't like, I might be, this might be a hot take, but I personally don't like him at all. He's just so lackluster. He's like very niche in my opinion. Like his best skill really, the best skill Silver has, the 20% attack buff for Jin Wu as a support. That's legit his best skill. Now you saw a lot of videos with him dealing damage, yes. At, um, he has when he is also has ascension investments and stuff like that. But in general, he's a little bit of lackluster. He helps you out in the early game better than certain other characters, especially when you like if you're doing reverse mode, for example, and you're in red CP. This is where he is good then, because you use him to apply the bleeding effects and then actually be able to kill the bosses. But that also only carries you so far. So yes, for these specific situations, he's good. But outside of that, I wouldn't even rank him far higher. Like, you see him, where do you really use him in story mode, stuff like that. Yes, you could theoretically use him in Cerberus, stuff like that. But you know what, you can also use, you can just use Seer, right? Or you can use a child. The same thing. So that's why I rank him low and the dark typing isn't as great right now. That's why he's ranked lower, even with the buff he got. Then we have Lim. Lim is also for me A tier right now. He got also buffed. I need to check out his multipliers again. But still, I feel like the only reason I'm putting him in here right now, I mean, he has also his time to shine with the battlefield of chaos, with the dark typing, especially this. And if I would have to rank him and Lim is actually more useful because battlefield of chaos, you need a lot of break and he has at least breaks and he's a ranged DPS. So he doesn't get killed immediately while he's just dying and he doesn't break anything. So that's why actually Lim is higher ranked than Silver. And yeah, but, but they made him better. He's overall uh, usage is better. Now it's just a typing situation, like a typing issue really with uh, the, the dark element, which makes them like a little bit lacking really. Uh, Libora, Libora is just fantastic. Libora support skill wise is the same basically as Min. She supports with the 15% damage taken effect. She actually also has like a pull in effect to pull in and then with her foxes and stuff like that, she has support with a sustained DPS on the field. And now with her buff, now with her foxes also scaling with her crit rate and crit damage makes her even better. Great overall support unit, especially for Jin Wu. You can combine her with Min together to maximize your damage output. Fantastic unit, really deserves her spot in the S tier category. I feel like even she's here 
most used really um, to a certain maybe like yeah I feel like either this way or this way you can it really depends actually it doesn't matter too much but yeah she's very very good now when it comes to all the SR characters I want to make it sh short because there are two or three which have their use and the rest is just straight up ass so let's start off with the characters who are more or less useless so you don't need uh Chiul. i just put everything even if they if they when they got buffed it's like whatever really um let's put some characters in here she has a little bit of utility with her oh, what's it that with the with the blading she has a little bit of utility and then next up we have her in the b category I also feel like he's like a little bit better, but still then you cannot put him. And the reason he's low there, not up there, it does make sense because he's basically he does basically the same thing as Silver, but Silver does it better. So why should he even be A tier? That's why he's ranked lower. Nam deserves a spot in A. Anna Reese actually went up. I would have put her down a little bit, but now with Battlefield of Chaos with the Water Elemental Dungeon. The thing is, she has that poisonous area, which has a lot of break mechanics, right? And she's a range type DPS or support, however you want to build her, really. But the, the great thing about her when it comes to Battlefield of Chaos, because of a lot of breaking mechanics, she can just throw all these poisonous zones to make sure to break these enemies fast. And when they are in the the zone they break themselves so she has crazy utility for that if you need someone for break and with the uh, especially with the elemental typing she's actually has decent uh, use there Nam still especially also all these units duped up and doing fairly well right especially also good with uh Alicia together or with C. it really doesn't matter Nam, Nam performs really good has the cc has the break and everything going on and even decent damage right He's just, he has break, he's not too bad, but still his typing just makes him like last time, in my opinion. Then we also have uh, Paki Jin. Paki Jin is a B tier for me because really she doesn't offer anything that game breaking. You, then you also, when it comes to DPS wind wise, you could then run Wong Dung Su. And when it comes to the power gauge acquisition, you have Min. So her i don't feel like she's that big of a deal she's not that crazy of a unit really then we have juhi juhi is also in my opinion one of the stronger uh units here i will put her also in a tier eight because juhi when you use her especially her main purpose is power of destruction in a team setup with power destruction she just has gives you so much survivability for your team if you need it and also what's really really helpful with her in power of destruction is her mana recovery she uh, recovers the mana of your whole party of your hunters and yourself to make sure you are not running low on mana so you can keep throwing out your skills with her you never have any mana issues that's why she's ranked so highly and she has like a lot of survivability for power of destruction that's why she deserves the a tier then we have Jin Ho. Jin Ho is also i will put him at the bottom of a tier He's also a great unit, has a lot of, like, he has healing, he has uh, buffs, he has breaks, he's really good at what he does, but there's still better options, so he's a little bit, not, not like, yeah, he's a little bit like Lasta. When it comes to his kit, overall, good unit, but still, there, there are better options out to use instead of him. And last but not least, we have Kim Chul, and Kim Chul is going straight into S tier category yes he is the best sr unit in the entire game when you have him at ascension 5 it's not like when you have him at ascension 5 he's s tier he's the best st unit he's crazy he has the break he has insane break if you didn't see it i have a video i I'm, i uploaded a video about him really he breaks super fast super fast and he just by using a skill he provides you with a 16 percent defense break and there's no gimmick behind it like you have to hit meet certain conditions so for example by bike defense landing bikes defense break is harder and landing um choice defense break is also harder and also kim Chul's defense break is stronger than choice but with for example with bike you have to connect three different skills the last hit to get a 20 percent defense break and with Choi, you have to qt him in with kim Chul, you just use his shield jumps uh, skill boom and you have a 16 percent defense break and also it has a break mechanic as well and he has stun he has everything like it's crazy what this guy has and um, so this is the final tier list guys i hope this helps you out 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment as well. And also let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you agree, um, what takes you have, right? What characters you use the most? And yeah, that's about it, guys. See ya. Deuces.